I wanted you all to hear it. First, we just got a full lift on the steel and aluminum tariffs. Right on. Canadian steel workers have been waiting nearly a year for this news. The Prime Minister just as relieved as they are that the tariff war with Canada's closest ally is coming to an end. I think the, the, there was no one breakthrough moment. It was just a lot of steady conversations. Conversations that started a few weeks ago and continued right into this morning when a deal between Canada, the U.S. and Mexico was struck to lift tariffs within 48 hours. It came together after the Americans backed down on a request to introduce a quota system that would cap how much steel and aluminum Mexico and Canada could sell in the U.S. Instead, all three countries promised to take additional steps to stop cheap Chinese steel from flooding the market by adopting a new monitoring system. Now that we've had a full lift on these tariffs, uh, we are going to work with the United States on timing for ratification. So that deal is going to be a fantastic deal for our country, and hopefully Congress will approve the USMCA quickly. They're talking about the new NAFTA, and sources say it's Donald Trump's desire to get that deal passed through Congress that was the catalyst for today's agreement. Trump is said to be desperate for a public win, since his trade talks with China are not going well. Canada and Mexico had both warned ratification would not happen unless the tariffs were lifted. After an intense two weeks of phone calls and meetings, all sides found common ground. It's unfortunate it took this long, but I think the workers in the industry can feel relief. Uh, they can get back to normalcy. All right, so Katie, give us a little bit more on the last-minute push. How did they actually get there? Prime Minister Trudeau had back-to-back -back calls with President Trump last week, and sources say Trudeau really leaned into any insecurity that Trump was feeling around his very difficult trade talks with China. Trudeau used the opportunity to remind Trump that Canada is an ally, Canada is not a national security threat, and when you take a look at what's going on between Beijing and Washington, it's a really big contrast. Ultimately, though, this is really about ratifying NAFTA. That is Donald Trump's goal, and some key members of Congress made it clear that could be a the tariffs could be a deal breaker. And if the tariffs don't go, they won't approve it. So ultimately, at the end of the day, that helped get it across the finish line. Okay, Katie, always great to see you. Thanks very much. Thanks.